Welcome to English with Leanne. Today's idiom is cat got your tongue. And I tried to have one of my assistants help me with this idiom. Nori, who you see beside me here in the picture, or even Lana, who's here now. But neither of them wanted to help me with cat got your tongue. So cat got your tongue is an expression that you say to someone when they aren't answering your questions or they're too shocked to speak. And so we use this, like I said, when they aren't answering their questions, possibly because they're too scared or because they're just so surprised they don't know what to say. So say that you're trying to find out who TP'd the house next door. To TP a house, that is to toilet paper a house. And that means that you took rolls of toilet paper and you threw them over the house back and forth to decorate the house. <laughs> and this is something that kids will sometimes do around Halloween in America. So you're trying to find out who TP'd the house next door. So you ask your kids, okay, who did it? I know you know. And they don't answer. They just look at you. You say, hmm, cat got your tongue? You can tell me. Or maybe you tell someone some very surprising news. Oh, you'll never guess what happened. Yesterday, I saw an owl attack a bobcat. And the person looks at you. And they don't say anything. You could say, cat got your tongue. So cat got your tongue has some interesting stories about where it came from. There's a number of different theories that I came across when researching this idiom. Some people think it's because when in the olden times, when they didn't want you to speak, that they would actually cut your tongue out and feed it to a cat. So this would be something that maybe a witch would do. But I also heard some stories about maybe that they did this in ancient Egypt. Now, I don't think that's the correct story. The story that I liked was related to sailing. So on boats and ships. And on a boat or ship, when someone needed to keep a secret and they wouldn't share the secret, even when people asked them questions, if you weren't talking, they'd say, cat got your tongue. And they're asking if you were afraid because if you did not answer their questions, if you were in trouble, they would whip you with a cat of nine's tail. Now this is a type of whip. And so they were asking if you were afraid of being beaten with the whip, of being punished. And today we use cat got your tongue, like I said though, not to threaten someone. Sometimes we can use it if someone's being particularly quiet and not speaking, you think they know something that they're not sharing or when they're really surprised. So good luck using cat got your tongue.